Um, my last question, uh, George, is that it, it seems to me you're kind of an icon for someone who can see the um, bad things going on, and but not let it sort of harden your heart, not let it get into you and screw up your either mental state or your emotional state. How, do you have any advice for people on how you can still stay engaged in the world and not just go insane with anger and resentment? Become a spectator. That's what I am. Um, I have found that over the last 20 to 30 years, somewhere in that span between 20 and 30 years ago, I began to pull away from having a stake in any of this. I don't really have an emotional stake in the outcome anymore in terms of my caring. I don't really give a fuck when you get right down to it. I don't care what happens to my, uh, my species because I think this species has squandered great gifts, namely uh, and especially the gift of this mind we have, the brain, uh, brain slash mind, which is able to uh, distinguish between subject and object as a starter and able to do a lot of abstract things that, uh, that should have led us better places. And the opposable thumb and walking erect and that whole package, we should certainly have done better than to embrace superstitious religious belief that rules us and leads us and the pursuit of goods and, and profit and territory and power. That's what we turned into. Um, and I think the same is true of this culture. I have also found myself pulling away from this culture and not caring about the outcome because I, I think the same thing is true. This culture, the country, the American country was given great gifts. It, it developed great gifts on its own at the beginning and I think we squandered these, these ideals, these noble purposes and ideals that we began with. And we went off the track um, because of the prosperity, primarily. We were always infected with the religious thing. That was always there underneath everything. But, but the, the prosperity led to greed and possessiveness and wanting to own things and have them for their own sake. And now uh, the American people politically have been bought off, have been completely silenced and bought off by gizmos and toys. And that's a line from the current show. And um, it's, it's just a shame. So, so I pulled away emotionally, and I said, you know what, fuck them. Let them do what they want to do. I'm going to enjoy this shit as a spectator. And I look at it as a show. It's a big circus. It's a big, it's a big parade, whatever, you, whatever um, metaphor you want to use. I think of it as the freak show. I, I like to say this. When you're born in this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. When you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. And man, I'm sitting there and I have my notebook out and I'm enjoying the show and I wish I could live a thousand years to watch this all develop. The rise of Russia, the rise of China, the Muslimization of, um, of, of Europe, the decline of the white race. It's going to be an amazing story as it develops. And, and I just wish I could see it all. I'm 70 now. I'll probably live to between 90 and 100, I think. And uh, I'll get to see some of it. But... Um, but it is an interesting, exciting thing to watch if you can detach yourself emotionally. And that's the end of that. That's the best way to uh, swallow all that stuff and believe it and still walk down the street right. singing a happy... That's right. Happy t-t-t-t-t-t-t. There's no anger in it, see? There's no anger, there's no emotional stake. 